Hi, this is Soma from Spitfire Audio with a walkthrough on the brilliant Henrietta Smith Roller Library. She's an incredible artist, producer, composer, has written the music for BAFTA-nominated short Kamali. It's a piano-based composition, also available on SL Recordings. To show a different side of her artistry, she's also known as Afrodeutsche, producing Afrofuturistic Electro, Techno and Detroit Legacy House, where you can find inspiration that has gone into this library called Spectrum. To create Spectrum, she has used some of her favorite synthesizers, Kaima, which is a programming language to create sound design and some other effects. So let's have a look at the GUI itself. It is split into four different sections. So you have spectral phases here. Then you have spectral reflection. Further down, spectral rhythms. And here you have spectral percussion. The left fader is your expression. And then on the right hand side, you have a fader that goes from mono to a stereo image. And then on the right hand side, the big dial allows you to go to attack, release, reverb, delay. Then you also have a distort and stretch function within here. Let's have a listen at the first sound. So for example, probably would like to put that up on the attack, maybe have a longer release. A really nice atmospheric pad. The next one I've loaded is Organ Donor. So if I move this fade over here, you can hear how it's going from mono to stereo. Let's have a listen to what it sounds like when you put some distortion on here. Gives it some really nice drive. The next one I have up is Diverse Solar. Again, I want to turn up the release a little bit. And what's handy within this library is that all these sounds come velocity sensitive. Let's add some drive to this. Really giving you a little bit of grit there. The next sound up is called Open Mind. Really loving these textures. Again, let's try a little bit of distortion on this one. I also like the idea of automating the distortion so it can kind of fade in and fade out again. Next up, we have spectral leakage. Here we have Space Foxtrot. Mm -hmm. 
This one's called Chamber Trill. I'm a big fan of this sound. Bit of distortion on this one. Really lovely. Then the next one is called Kinetic Fiber. Very ethereal, atmospheric sounds. Well. This one's main. What you can do with this sound is that you can stretch it. So let's have a look how that sounds. So you can manipulate the sound quite a bit with that. Next up we have Blipper. Buzzer on. Let's try that with a bit more release. All right, this was the last one within this section. Let's have a look at the next one. Here we have Horrid Lead. Very much like this one with the distortion on. Sounds also slightly wonky, which is nice. Then the next one we have actually called Wonky Strobe. Dial M for Mars. Here we have a fun one that's called Insect Noise. So many cool sounds in here that I find that if you put them contextually into your writing, make it sound really interesting. This one's called Blades. Let's try without the distortion first. Then with. Yeah. 
Really love when that sound comes in to cut across. Next up is Velvet Light. I can also really imagine using these kind of sounds for series like Chernobyl or Dark. Next one up is called Raymond Scott. Let's have a look at the spectral rhythms. All these patches are tempo synced, so if I was to put it up... However, by hitting the notes at different times, you can also create some cross rhythms. Next one up, we have Hack. And then also with the stretch. Next one we have Atomic Touch. These ones come in really handy if you wanted to create a little bit of pace in your writing. Rhythmic chords. I'm gonna put the tempo back down again. Power wave. So you can create some really fun rhythms here. And last one of this section, we have Wild Spark. I find the distortion function can also help you build a section. And looking at the very bottom of this library, we have Spectral Percussion. Let's have a look at Drum Set. Again, a lovely set of curated drum sounds that you can make some beats with. The next one is called Square Tuesday. One that's called Popper. And to show you one last sound of this library, here we have Pound Cake. Has a lovely bassy sound to this one as well. One more thing I want to show you within this library is the different reverbs that you can choose. So we have Church, Far, Big Hall, Plate Reverb, Kiln Room, Church, Balcony and Drum Studio. And again, I think this library can help to add some drive, really nice gritty textures and add more depth to the writing. I hope this gave you a good insight of what this library can do. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully see you in the next one.